we have to compare between half wave rectifier and full wave re rectifier circuit diagram of half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier are shown this is half wave rectifier containing one semiconductor diode on the right hand side we have full wave rectifier having two diodes in the circuit this is an ac source which is connected to a step down transformer in half wave rectifier and d1 is the semiconductor diode output will be measured across the load resistance rl for full wave rectifier this is the ac source which is this is the ac source which is connected to step down transformer ac source is connected to this step down transformer and to this step down transformer two semiconductor diodes d1 and d2 are connected in this way output is measured across the load resistance rl now we can draw input and output waveform for half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier so here we can draw output waveform or output voltage uh, for half wave rectifier and on the right hand side we can draw output waveform of full wave rectifier full wave rectifier so uh, on the right hand side we can draw the input waveform which is applied to half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier vin is the input voltage and this input voltage vin is plotted against a uh, time and this will be the sinusoidal voltage and this are the positive half cycle and, and this are the positive half cycles which are shown in the input waveform and also you can denote negative half cycle or add the input voltage or input waveform these are the negative half cycles these are the negative half cycles in input waveform or input voltage these are the input half cycles so now we can draw output waveform for half wave rectifier we can draw output waveform for half wave rectifier along x axis we can draw output voltage vo is the output voltage obtained across the load resistance rl of half wave rectifier similarly uh, here t at the time t is plotted along horizontal axis now output voltage vo is obtained across the load resistance rl for half wave rectifier and this output voltage uh, is shown in the figure or output waveform uh, is shown in the figure there will be only positive half cycles and uh, negative half cycle will be removed for in uh, in output waveform and now if we draw output waveform for full wave rectifier then uh, we have to draw this type of uh, graph along horizontal axis time t is plotted along vertical axis output voltage vo obtained across the load resistance rl is plotted and this output voltage uh, will be uh, as shown in the figure and here positive and both negative half cycle will be obtained across the load resistance rl rl is the load resistance across which output voltage vo is plotted and there should be uh, positive half cycle and so also uh, negative half cycle which is converted into positive half cycle as shown in uh, the output wave form in output wave form of half wave rectifier in output wave form of half wave rectifier negative half cycle is removed no negative half cycle exist uh, at the output uh, which is obtained across the load resistance that means no voltage is obtained no voltage is obtained across the load resistance rl for half wave rectifier during negative half cycle that is from t by 2 to uh, t 
here we can denote different uh, instant of time at different points t by 2 t 3 t by 2 and 2 t during negative half cycle that is between t by 2 2 t uh, we get positive voltage or positive voltage is obtained across the load resistance rl instead of negative voltage at the input negative half cycle or negative voltage is applied but that the output we get positive half cycle now we can compare the expression of average value of current obtained across the load resistance rl for half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier at the input i equal to i0 sin omega t current is applied uh, here uh, obviously i equal to i0 sin omega t which is the input alternating current for both half wave rectifier and also for full wave rectifier i is equal to i0 sin omega t which is the input alternating current which is the input alternating current uh, applied at the input of half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier and also you can consider the average value of current uh, obtained across the load resistance rl or obtained at the output average value of current for full half wave rectifier uh, will have the expression iav which will be equal to integration 0 to t by 2 i dt divided by integration uh, 0 to t dt 0 to t dt and this is the expression of average value of current for half wave rectifier and if we consider the average value of current for full wave rectifier uh, and then the expression of average value of current for full wave rectifier as i a v will be equal to integration 0 to t i dt uh, for full wave rectifier divided by integration 0 to t dt 0 to t dt that is the expression of and here for half wave rectifier i dt is integrated from 0 to t by 2 but dt is integrated from 0 to t but for full wave rectifier i dt is integrated from 0 to t 0 to t and in the denominator dt is integrated from 0 to t for uh, uh, the determination of average value of current therefore iav will be equal to i0 divided by pi but for full wave rectifier iav is equal to 2 i0 divided by pi iav will be equal to 2 i0 divided by pi iav equal to i0 by pi for half wave rectifier but for full wave rectifier i a v will be is equal to 2 i 0 by pi now we can compare the expression of rms value of current obtained across uh, the output uh, of half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier rms value of current obtained obtained at the output of half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier the expression of rms value of current for half wave rectifier is i rms that will be equal to integration 0 to t by 2 i squared dt i squared dt where i is equal to i 0 sin omega t divided by and that will be under square root that means i rms is equal to square root integration 0 to t by 2 i square dt divided by integration dt 0 to t for full wave rectifier i rms equal to root over integration 0 to t i square dt divided by integration 0 to t dt that is uh, the expression of rms value of current for full wave rectifier therefore i rms is equal to i0 divided by 2 and for full wave rectifier i rms is equal to i0 by root 2 therefore i rms is equal to i0 by 2 for half wave rectifier and for full wave rectifier i rms equal to i0 by root 2 
RMS value of current uh, obtained uh, at the output of half wave rectifier is I RMS which is equal to I0 by 2 which is RMS value of current obtained at the output of half wave rectifier half wave rectifier but on the right hand side for full wave rectifier I RMS is equal to I0 by root 2 this is RMS value of current RMS value of current at the output of at the output of full wave rectifier full wave rectifier for half wave rectifier I RMS is equal to I0 divided by 2 but for full wave rectifier I RMS is equal to I0 by root 2. Now we shall consider the expression of efficiency of half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier. Efficiency of half wave rectifier is eta which is equal to 40.6%. Eta is equal to 40.6% that is the efficiency of half wave rectifier. But for full wave rectifier, eta is equal to 81.2%. Eta is equal to 40.6% for half wave rectifier. Eta is equal to 40.6% which is the efficiency of half wave rectifier half wave rectifier but eta is equal to but eta is equal to 81.2 percent which is the efficiency of which is the efficiency of full wave rectifier eta is equal to 81.2 percent which is the efficiency of full wave rectifier Next uh, comparison will be what will be the repel frequency obtained at the output of half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier. For half wave rectifier the repel frequency the repel frequency is equal to the repel frequency is equal to the frequency of the repel frequency obtained at the output of half wave rectifier is equal to the frequency of input alternating frequency of input alternating current but for full wave rectifier the repel frequency the repel frequency obtained at the output is equal to is equal to twice the frequency is equal to double the frequency of input alternating current the repel frequency obtained at the full wave rectifier is equal to double the frequency is equal to the double the frequency of input alternating current of input alternating current alternating current now we can consider input and output waveform of half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier we assume that input frequency or fre frequency of input alternating current is new which is equal to 50 hertz Nu is equal to 50 hertz which is the frequency of input current applied at the input of half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier. Nu is equal to 50 hertz that is the frequency of input AC or alternating current. If nu is 50 hertz which is the input frequency then nu will be 50 hertz for half wave rectifier but nu will be 100 hertz for full wave rectifier. Nu equal 50 hertz that is the repel frequency. Nu equal 50 hertz which is the repel frequency of output current 
or current obtained at the output of half wave rectifier if input frequency or frequency of input alternating current is 50 hertz then repel frequency of current at the output of half wave rectifier will be again 50 hertz will be again 50 hertz so this is the repel frequency of current at the output of half wave rectifier and refill frequency is denoted by nu r similarly nu r is equal to 100 hertz for full wave rectifier if input frequency is 50 hertz then output frequency or repel frequency obtained obtained at the output of full wave rectifier nu r is equal to 100 hertz which is the repel frequency of current obtained at the output of full wave rectifier provided the frequency of input current is 150 hertz if the frequency of input alternating current nu is equal 50 hertz in that case nu r will be 50 hertz that's why nu r is equal to nu for half wave rectifier but for full wave rectifier nu r is equal to or ripple frequency nu r is equal to twice of nu nu r is equal to 2 nu for full wave rectifier here and also you can explain the output voltage of a half wave rectifier and this is the output voltage of full wave rectifier we have shown the input waveform and output waveform for half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier we can denote one second instant at this point uh, on input waveform and similarly we can denote one second instant on output waveform of half wave, half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier we have denoted one second instant the instant one second and within one second within one second the frequency or number of oscillation is 2 that's why frequency is uh, new which is equal to 2 hertz that is the frequency of input alternating current new is equal to 2 hertz because there are two complete oscillations within one second at the input terminal so this uh, this is one oscillation then the second oscillation there are two complete oscillations within one second at the input but at the output of half wave rectifier at the output of half wave rectifier within one second ripple frequency newer will be again to hertz because the number of positive half cycles number of uh, positive half cycle these are the positive half cycles within one second is 2 that's why ripple frequency new r is also 2 so these are uh, the positive half cycles that's why number of positive half cycles is 2 within one second that's why new r or ripple frequency is 2 hertz but for full wave rectifier within one second interval of time we get four positive half cycles four positive half cycles that's why uh, we get ripple frequency newer as 4 hertz ripple frequency newer as 4 hertz provided input frequency is 2 hertz new r which is the ripple frequency uh, from 2 hertz input frequency we get new r as 4 hertz frequency for full wave rectifier